place. The Schumacher Cut. What's happening, film friends? Dave the Film Junkie here. Shall I say the Red Book Edition instead? Well, not necessarily. I mean, it is a Schumacher Cut, Red Book Edition. It's not... Basically, it was just kind of like the information was just thrown at me right now that the the Red Book edition, you know, Batman Forever, the Schumacher cut that has like about 38 extra minutes or whatever. Um, it was called the Red Book edition. I think it was mainly because um, from uh, what somebody told me is the fact that it's it's called that because somebody made a fan edit with like those deleted scenes and everything. So it's been deemed the Red Book edition. It, it, if it ever gets released, it might not be called that. But Mr. Kevin Smith which uh, I love Mr. Kevin Smith. You know, I love the fact that he's been talking about Ray Fisher stuff. He's been talking about uh, the Red Book Edition or the Schumacher Cut. And this is what they actually talked about today or the other day, not today, on Batman Beyond. So here, we'll just hear a little bit of it right here. I have it on, on pretty good authority. Yeah, pretty good authority. There exists in the Warner Brothers vault a 170-minute cut of Batman Forever. 171 minute cut. Right, 170. So the math and math. How long is that? That's <laughs> two and a half hours of Batman Forever. Joel Schumacher's Batman, <laughs> Batman Forever. Yeah, Joel Schumacher's Batman Forever. What was that missing? Was, um, I think that it went much deeper into his sort of childhood psychosis and his mental blocks. And I think it was a more serious, like darker version of that movie. Wow. Um, hmm. That, you know, there was the first, one of the first assemblies that Joel apparently filed to the studio and they eventually cut it down because they're like, it's too dark for kids. Remember, yeah, the reason why the Batman returns. We got to sell these happy meals. So maybe let's <laughs> not true. invest ourselves in the trauma of childhood murder. Yeah. Um, we got Jim Carrey. Yeah. Let him do hey, Ventura is here, man. <laughs> <laughs> um, but said source was like, do you think people would be interested in watching this version of it? Like in, in a world in which we are now apparently getting every version of every movie that's ever been made. Yeah, I think they would want you know that. why? Because the audience is now sophisticated enough to understand, like, you know, cut footage. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, you know, before Laserdisc and, uh, and DVD, perhaps, you know, a lot more people were just like ignorant of it and studios didn't want to show this stuff, even, you know, have people. Because like, it makes them look, look bad, things, maybe. You know, we've had so many behind the scenes, so many cut footage collections on DVDs and laser discs and every form of media. Like, people are savvy. They yeah. completely understand. You can show people a work print and they'll get it. It doesn't lose anything. Particularly with old shit. Yeah. It's not like, oh man, like, fucking yeah. effects aren't done. Particularly yeah. with old shit. <laughs> I mean, also, I mean, my God. I mean, <laughs> we already, like, if you guys saw the video, uh, that I did, I posted underneath. Somebody gathered up all the deleted scenes, just put them together. I mean, there's, I don't think there's any VFX that need to happen with that. So there you go, guys. And then we got Kevin Smith talking about the Schumacher cut, 170 minutes or 71 minutes, whatever they said. Um, there you go. I mean, I'm, I'm campaigning for this. I want to see this version because like I said in my video, Batman Forever is such a guilty pleasure. I like it better than Batman Returns. There's just something about that movie. I saw it. I'm pretty sure I saw it three or four times in the movie theater. I just absolutely loved it. But to to see a darker version of that movie, I'm all for it. All for it. Release it. Now! <laughs>